What's up fam? Welcome back to the Bad LSX Garage YouTube channel. If you watched last week's video, you know that I said we was going to install this Harley Davidson budget siren from Amazon. And well, that's exactly what we're going to do. That and answer some comments and a little bit of concerns as well. Stick around, stay tuned, and let's roll to that intro. fam welcome back to the bad lsx garage youtube channel glad each and every one of you decided to stop back by again this week to see what's going on what we're doing and what we are about obviously if you watched last week's video you know that i said we are going to be installing this harley davidson budget siren from amazon pick this up 36 38 bucks whatever it was delivered like in a few days and from what i can tell i've opened it up it looks like a decent little product Definitely a lot cheaper than the Harley-Davidson 200 bucks that you would pay, but I don't know anything about it. I don't know if it's going to work. They say it will, and we don't know what it's going to sound like. Hopefully, it will do its job. So where we're at at this point, I'm taking the seat off. I already got the backrest off. T25 to take this back bolt out, and a T25 to take the strap off the seat if you still have it on as well. The seat at this point is ready to come off working on the saddle bag at this time which brings me to something else and in order to do that i've got to sit down and talk to you guys for a second you know it's serious when i bring out the patball glasses a long time subscriber to this channel chad wickoff has brought some things to my attention and i need to pass it on to you guys so as you guys know i just recently lowered my 24 road glide well, on this specific video called 1K Service and Lowering My 24 Road Glide, Chad had, we'd had a little discussion back and forth. He wanted to know how they was working out for me and that he had ordered the same exact ones and he was waiting to get them in and have them installed. As of yesterday, Chad has put some miles down. Chad's put about a thousand miles on with the lowering kits, apparently the exact same ones that I have as well. And he's having some issues. So let's, let's read this real quick said I installed these they are making my left hand shock rub on my belt pulley it ate it up pretty good I'm one up and 190 pounds now with that being said I'm 200 and I ride one up most of the time on the road glide in the conversation I said did you check your preload if you have you checked everything because on mine after I installed everything I also rechecked the preload I actually measured it to 25 millimeters and then readjusted everything. And I've got the left hand, the little knob, at set at five. That's because, well, I packed pretty heavy usually. I've got clothes, jackets and stuff on one side, tools on the other, and my tour pack is usually loaded down with camera gear and just other things. Every time I take it out and I bring it home, I wash the bike, I take the bags off, I examine everything while I'm washing the bike, whether it be the tires, the belt, whatever. That's just what I do. But Chad said that he checks his regularly as well and just for no reason it was like that if this becomes a problem with me then i guess we'll just have to ditch them uh, there again like i said in previous videos take everything with I, I say with a grain of salt it what works for me may not always work for you guys so with that being said we're going to check everything out and well you guys just make up your own minds on whether you want to lower your bike with these actual lowering links or if you just want to leave it alone, I wanted to address this because this is just not somebody who is just some Joe Blow who's saying, oh, this don't work. He's actually got results. He's actually there saying, hey, look, this is happening and here we are. So before we get started hooking up the siren, I just wanted to bring you guys in and let you look at the lowering links and at my pulley. Now, keep in mind, I do have I have about 28 to 3,000 miles on this setup right now. It's not rubbing whatsoever. Golly, my bike's nasty. But regardless, it's not rubbing at all, as you guys can tell. In fact, I would have to bottom this bike out pretty badly in order for it to touch. And as you can see, I mean, it's close, but 
it's not bad enough, it's gonna hit. But regardless, I mean, I gotta believe Chad. If Chad say he's had, having an issue, I've gotta believe him. He has no reason to lie to me, and well, I have no reason to lie to you guys. So with that being said, you know, use these lowering links at your own risk. I can't tell you 100% that it's gonna be fine. I can just tell you what works for me, and it's working. Now, if at any point that this does fail, it's going to be on me, obviously, but if it does fail, I will let you guys know. I absolutely will let you know. But like I said, I've had this bike in some pretty hairy situations, and if, if you know any roads in Kentucky, they're bouncy, they're bumpy, they're rough. It's, it's been great, guys. I, I can't honestly complain about it, but like I said, use these at your own risk. These bikes are a little bit cantankerous. They're a little bit finicky. So what I like to do if I'm working on any sort of electrical component or something that I know that's gonna be a little bit tricky, I'm gonna pull this main fuse right here. That cuts everything down and eliminates any problems. So let's pull that out. Now that we have that addressed, let's take a look at this budget siren. Little bitty box, not much bigger than your hand. And uh, open it up. You have the siren, well, you have a couple of zip ties. You have the siren itself. You have, looks like some Velcro and an alcohol prep. So the siren itself is not very big at all. It's pretty small. Looks like it does have low uh, holes for mounting if you actually want to mount it instead. Nice little wire loom. The plug looks like a plug, I mean, nothing. It doesn't look bad, it doesn't look cheap. Kind of looks like you might be able to pop this back off and maybe mount it here as well and then probably snap everything back together if you would like. But yeah, I mean, for 34, 36, whatever it was, 38 bucks, it ain't over 40. From what I've heard, you have to take the BCM out, kind of put it on the side. You'll need to take the battery out probably and you could get to this plug. But I can actually see the plug and I'll show you guys in a second. Now, if you get the Harley Davidson plug, I think the box itself is probably about the size of your hand from what I've seen in previous years. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the same. With this little box, like I said, it's little bitty. Um, you can probably put it about anywhere. So I don't necessarily think that I'm gonna have to remove all of that stuff. And well, let me show you why I think that. Well, first, let's get a little light on the subject. So if you look down in this hole right here, see that plug? You can actually see that it's plugged in. It's not plugged into anything, it's just plugged in. So you can't put your needle nose in there and just pull it out. But what you can do, if you look real close, which you guys probably can't see it, but you can actually see the belt through this hole, which tells me if I could see that belt through this hole, well, I should be able to stick my finger up, oh, up. Oh. See my fingers right there? Well, look at that. That means that I can unclip this little plug right here and voila. Bit tricky trying to do it one-handed, but I'm trying to show you guys what's going on. If you actually follow that wire, it kind of routes underneath this little frame right here. The wire goes around and then comes back around this way. So what I'm gonna try to do to give me just a, I don't know, a couple more inches, and uh, we all could use a couple more inches. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. But regardless, I'm gonna try to take it around that little bracket and bring it back around this way in order to give me just a little bit more. So I got the needle nose on the wire and I'm pulling it around right there, trying to hold on to it and trying not to pinch it and trying not to make any boo-boos. It's hard to do this one-handed. Voila, right there it is. So now we got a couple more inches out. It's out of that little hole now and it's right here. So it makes everything easy. Now we can plug everything up, run the siren where we need it, 
and button everything back up. Before we wrap up this video, let's uh, let's check this thing out. Let's see if it's actually gonna work. I leave the keys actually stuck in the cup holder, which brings me to another discussion that I wanna have. Everybody says that if you leave the keys somewhere on the bike, whether it's in the compartments or whether it's in a cup holder, that you're gonna run down your battery, don't do that. Well, that's just not true. That's not the case. It doesn't happen that way. Well, you guys know about the mental state that I went through for the past two weeks. I purposely left the keys right there for two weeks come back out here two weeks later fired this bike right up it didn't drag it didn't do anything it fired right up and it went along now with that being said it sounds to me like some of you may have a weak battery or there's something else draining your battery other than that key fob because that key fob is not going to do that now keep in mind i had a 2008 corvette that corvette would do that but this no now, this alarm does sound different than the Harley-Davidson. You know how on Harley you'll get two chirps? This, you don't get two chirps, you get one chirp. But I will tell you that it's stupid loud. I don't know if you guys can hear that through the GoPro. Actually, it's through my mic. Let's walk around, the lights are still flashing. Golly. Yeah, right there is loud. All fresh and clean and got a good loud security system on it now. I don't think you can complain about that, or at least I can. I'm pretty pleased with it. If you've enjoyed this video, go down there and give old dad a big thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate it. Right now though, I gotta get this bike dried off cause it's hot and I got places to go, people to see and things to do. I love you fam, until next week. You ready? Let's do this. Peace. I'm out.